Hey everybody, it's Otto and Jeeper with 303 Photo and Adventure. And today we're going to a historic Elmwood Brighton Cemetery. And Elmwood's kind of cool. It's got about 5,000, it's, what is it, 5,017 headstones. Uh, Lloyd William Barker's buried there, who is part of the infamous Ma Barker gang. Um, he served 25 years in federal prison. Um, before being released and made a life for himself before he was gunned down by his insane wife. So, kind of cool. And anyway, it was um, founded in 1896. So, hopefully we'll find some pretty cool tombstones. Man, look at this cemetery. This cemetery has 5,017 tombstones, roughly. Some of these are beautiful, in really good shape. Wow. Died in 1886. Ooh, I like the doors on this one. These are pretty cool. Somewhere in here lies Lloyd William Parker, son of the infamous Ma Barker gang. Wow, uh, this thing's in great shape. Brand. Concrete sinking in. This one has some great detail. You can tell it's starting to wear out with the ivy. I love the homemade tombstones. Mm, name's wearing out. Died in 1888. No, 1889. I can't believe the tree roots don't push these up. Oh, more ivy. Ivy must have a significance. I'll have to figure out what that is. Died in 1922. Wow, this one's kind of cool. Died in 1886. Lived to be 77. Man, look at these homemade ones. This is a concrete formed one. That is really cool. Oh, no way, it has a seashell embedded in it. It's still there after all these years. Wow, another cool homemade one. And look at that thing. There's little rocks all over it. Somebody put some time into that. Another homemade one. A lot of homemade ones in this cemetery. Really cool. Someone had something hanging from it years ago. Oh, wow, these ones are really cool. Right next to each other, too. I love that. This is a great photo op right here. Great 
great patina on the tombstones. I'll have to take a photo. Mary Ellsmore. Died in 1936. That's pretty creative. I like the flowers. Oh wow, this one's made of steel. 